All right, I just wanted to show the tarp that I made. Uh, you can see in the background all my practice tarps. Yeah, even though I had everything measured and I feel like it came out to the specs that I wanted, um, I still would recommend making some practice tarps before you do something more expensive. Uh, I think this is my final one before I try my hand at some Cuban fiber and spend a lot of money. Um, it's a basic pyramid. It's 48 inches tall with all the heavy tape reinforcements. It weighs 26 ounces, which is still less than a decent two-person shelter. Um, I have lots of room in the back for a backpack and my dog and then plenty of room to sit up and change. Uh, I took out the corners a little bit so it's a hexagon. Uh, otherwise, the footprint would have extended pretty far out. So it frees up a, a little bit in the way of options for pitching. Uh, the other cool thing about the tape reinforcements at every tie out is that if one panel fails, uh, the rest of the panels will still be intact. You'll just have, you know, one hole. Uh, I really recommend if you guys are going to try to make your own tarp, even if you think you have all your dimensions correct, uh, you'll find things that you want to tweak and you'll keep adjusting and taping and adjusting and then eventually your practice tarp will <laughs> be unusable and you'll have to start over. So do it a couple times before you take the plunge with expensive fabrics. Hope this helps.